Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before before we even get into this, bro, this floor, this shit. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. It's only right. Well, how you doing? What's up? You want to be in the vlog? Yeah, how you doing, beautiful? You good? <laughs> He ain't got the sauce, man. Now the clip I'm finna play shows what it's like for King Sid to be around Miami when the hoes are around. And how he is constantly getting humbled by women when he is in the presence of Miami the Kid. Then when he doesn't get the answer that he wanted, he scares the hoes away and tries to make a little scene at McDonald's. Mind you, this is him at a young age being emotional like this. Like this isn't even like fast forward to now. Listen, tell me out, tell me out. Yo. <laughs> Who cute it? Who cute it? Hey, out of both of us, who would you take home with you? Oh, come on, cuz, shut the fuck up. Hey, uh, what you say? You said me? Hold on, let me see, let me see. You, hey, you can come back over here? Ooh, hey. can do that for the camera? Come here. Hold on, watch it, watch it. Alright. Why you say him for? Bye. Hey, boy. What you mean, bye? I ain't even, I ain't even started coming with you. So in the last week of all the King Sid drama pretty much wrapping up, I feel like we can all judge King Sid's character from the 200 damn videos exposing King Sid for basically being a whole ass nigga. Like, it's no way all of these people are lying for Christmas funds to get Lil Tyrell a new Nerf gun. Fuck no. You've got your whole choker attributes maxed out. That's it. Borderline period. You buy boosts before every argument so you won't miss wide open catch and choke. And then got the audacity to really act like he don't be knocking these bitches out and then silencing their story. If you bring a black woman around Sid, he gets bumpy. His anchor badge pops up. Nigga turns into the Hulk around black women, my nigga. Sid has tried to use his friends and YouTube associates to hide his controversies, make himself feel like the big wall in the room by punking younger creators, even though he's a menacing 5'6", 115 pounds wet, and putting hoes before bros when the guys that put him on are the ones he's putting down. Mind you, I just realized if you're shorter than King Sid, and you are his friend, I really feel horrible for you because that nigga's gonna size you the fuck up no matter who you are and whenever he wants. Like, his little short ass thought that he could unironically fight Nate multiple times, whether it was boxing or just getting him jumped. And I don't think he's ever won once. Like, how do you not win when you're jumping somebody? And how can you not win one box against Nate, bro? Like, and to be honest, Nate can't even box. He's just big. Like, I'm big too, but I can box. So I know how to use my strength. Like, I know he can't box. So you haven't won one time. And it's because you're l little as hell. Like, King Sid deadass has a chihuahua complex, whoa. He has a chihuahua complex, whoa. He's a little chihuahua, whoa. Long story short, he's a slimy ass curly hair, whoa. That was getting away with bullshit for a long time because nobody wanted to stand on business and be their own man and create their own lane for success in the Florida YouTube scene. And ended up getting zoed by the Dominican wool with the curly hair wool. But there was one person who the whole time saw King Sid for the person who we know him as of now. A nigga who has let the fame get to his head. When Miami exposed who the real King Sid was, I really couldn't believe my eyes, y'all. I was really in, a nigga was in disbelief on God. Niggas gotta do their homework on how lame King Sid was before YouTube fame. You lighter than me, bro. Oh, yeah. That's because you Mexican, bro. I ain't Mexican, I'm Dominican. The why you treat black women so bad, whoa? Like, you should be really treat black women. Uh, I ain't no black, I ain't no black. Yeah, man. Oh. Hey, y'all, I'm finna show y'all what I got right here. Y'all see this, a 10 piece. Okay, y'all want some? Open up, let's go. <laughs> deep fried kicking. Deep fried chicken for real. I had to see these fried it, yeah, you heard? <laughs> hey, let me ask y'all a question. Y'all heard what he just my bad. Y'all heard what he just said? Bruh. This the real deal right here, bruh. This the real deal right here. Oh, you don't know her, bruh, but her name is Naya. Let me see how she Naya Naya. She love you feel me? Black girl. Okay, okay, we're working on this song. Hold on, hold on. You think she pop? I read her like a, like an eight too, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, she up there. Cause I ain't gonna lie. For you know. to, for you hey, get, nah. for you to get a 10, you gotta be like, you gotta catch my eyes. And when the big catch my eyes, I'ma slide in her DM. I ain't sliding her DM. If you know about her and I don't know about her, 
She ain't catch my eye yet. We know the real reason you don't like her, whoa. We we know we know you have Hall of Fame hold choker on Hall of Fame when it comes to black women, whoa. Stop acting like you just love black women, whoa, around black people, whoa. Stop it, whoa. We know we know you like to slap the shit around of black women, whoa. Stop it, please, whoa. I say skinny girls, bro. I don't know, but I'm skinny girl. A, a, a nice dime with curly hair, light skin, glowing the glowing the sun. But you only like light skin. Hispanic girls too. Yeah, yeah, they like they be light skin too. They be light skin too. Whoa, what do you mean? Like literally anything but black. Whoa, like literally anything. Like like light skin and black aren't the same thing. Whoa, like literally, I I, I don't think dark skin girls. And light skinned girls are both black, well, like only dark skinned girls are black, well, light skinned girls are like light skinned girls, well. Oh shit, it's your boy King Sid. It's not my video, but I'm back with another video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, bang him, bang him with chill, bang him with chill, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, before we even get into this, bro, this Florida shit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was only right. And he damn near looks like he has ADHD or some shit. Like, he can't fucking focus. Like, it's retarded. Like, but nigga be zoning out and looking like he's on the spectrum or some shit. I mean, bro, he's on IG trying to be like the Mexican NBA young boy posted up at every gas station. Talking about, bitch, this, bitch, that. If you want to make your own side. Like, he from Louisiana. Like, and using certain lingo to just make it seem like he's like that. Like, find any reason to talk. So you niggas got passed, and you niggas want to catch back up. Don't do that dry ass hating that shit, nigga. You was just at my house like a week ago trying to make me promote a clothing brand. Nigga, like what the fuck, nigga? Come on, bro. Stop all that pick sucking. You niggas don't know what side to pick on. The fuck? Maybe if you make your own side, you can stay on that side, bitch. That's why I ain't crossing back and forth, bitch. I made my shit. I'ma stay here. Then he's got a gang of black men at his disposal, like Adam Twenty Two, trying to make it look like he just. Tapped in with them people in them city ready to ready for anything to go down. Whole time, this dude back in the day was putting his hands together to pray just for a female to sit next to him. I kid you not. I'll play the clip if I want if I'm not lazy enough. Hey, listen. Bad bitches only. Yeah. Oh okay. listen, bad bitches only. Do you mind coming here, please? One second. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Look, 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 look. You just, look, we just want you to say hi to the camera, that's all. Please, one second. Just right, one right, second, right, right, right. please. We just want you to say hi. As a matter of fact, we're going to bring her. Hey, you feel just me? Listen, if you want to give him a 362 while you're at it, hey, it's going to be perfect. Hey, come here, please. Mm. Can you take a seat? Listen. Can I get a kiss on the cheek? No. Just one. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it's a lot of people. I can't get a white kiss on my... <laughs> no! <laughs> come on, come on. And I hate to do this, but I feel like not only did she only come over for Miami, but she low-key wanted to sit next to Miami anyway. Because when I tell you before money, King Sid had no game, you would have thought I was bullshitting. I've never seen in one video where the main purpose is two niggas getting ho- Wait, hold on. Or should I say a nigga in a Dominican world getting hoes? Would it ever sound right where one of them was getting no play for a whole 12 minutes? 12 minutes and not one female? Guess how long the video was, y'all? 12 fucking minutes. Fast forward to 2023 and he wants you to believe that he's damn near pimped out and has always just been Mr. Bitches. Cheat. Just one. Oh. I can't get the white kiss on my. <laughs> no! <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Listen, you ain't gotta act no. Hollywood with it. Just get boy. Your hair wet. Where you was at? The shower. <laughs> Ooh. You think he could pull more girls in me? Who? Sid. Sid, no. Now, I don't think the real reason between Miami the Kid and Call of Kids Fallout was ever revealed. I think that is something between two bros that they kept under wraps. And only them two will know about it until it ever for real, for real gets revealed. I mean, the real reason them two are beefing, not how everyone else jumped into their beef, is unknown. So, until it comes out, we won't know. If y'all know, please let me know in the comment section below. Regardless, Miami and Call of Kids start beefing. And seeing as I know some behind the scenes details that I heard from other YouTubers on some cool shit... I ain't gonna lie, it was some shit that had to deal with the principal. Like, it might have been a petty reason for two bros to fall out, 
but it was about the principle. And in situations like that, Miami has always been stand up to me. When principle is on the line, he's been a guy that I can always see as, oh, okay, he's going to stand on that, uh, what it means to like really be a true friend and you know just be a real one. Long story short, Sid ends up speaking up on another man's beef on live and dissing Miami on live for literally no reason at all. Fans in the live stream were seeing Call of Kids sitting next to Sid without Miami there and was saying that Call of Kids switched up. And then that's when Sid was saying that Miami was holding Call of Kid back. So now King Sid will be the one to pipe him up. He was literally manipulating Call of Kid in his face and used him to get at Miami the Kid, making it look like the grass was greener on King Sid's side. Miami has never been one to go looking for beef, and Sid just randomly brought his name up and was speaking bad on him, while Call of Kid just sat there and listened. They said Call of Kid switch missed call, uh, Miami the Kid, Call of Kid greenness. <laughs> bro is it just me or does this nigga look drugged out like a motherfucker like he looks like the perks are whooping the fuck out of him am i tripping y'all like they look like he these perks just beating his ass like how he be you know doing black women so it's kind of just like yo it really is the drugs getting to his head gotta be look at him like he really looks sick like and, and that, that's not liquor like allegedly allegedly i'm not saying nothing is fact i'm just saying in my opinion it looks like he's off more than uh he looks like he up on that laffy gas, that Joker juice, that the uh them exos. <laughs> they dumb it's, they don't know, bro. Stop talking to you. They don't know you you reach out or bro. They don't know Quality Kid reached out of MTK like four or five times and bro left them on scene. They don't know how the f in Florida still talk, but bro don't still don't talk to none of y'all. Bro left y'all and, 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 and moved and, and thought like, oh, he can't talk to y'all. Man, call it get pee, man. That's it, man. Yeah, really. Rick it in, man. Rick it in. Fuck MVP. Rick it in. Okay, I ain't gonna call right it get in. Dick sucking this shit. Nigga ain't gonna hold nothing. Pussy. Call it kid. It's a gem. Niggas mad because they missed out on call it kid, man. Yeah, man. I'm call it kid. Yeah, we're niggas that. know. It's for all these. Sorry. Man, shout out Florida, man. Man, shout out call it kid, man. Really. Man, right. Florida stand up. Real Florida nigga. Shout out Smooth Gio. Shout out Chain Weather. Shout out Poppy Dawood. Shout out Suave J. Shout out Lil Jeff. Shout out Curvo. Shout out Terry Loaded. Shout out Ritzy Rao. Shout out Chevy. What they got going on, man? Call the kids. These 200K, man. Don't worry about it. Nobody. 200K? 200K? 200. 200. Hey, hey, nobody hey, ain't switch up on nobody. Y'all gonna stop playing with me. Stop playing with no top, man. For real. Five hundred kids when we can switch take numbers at Hollywood. Right? They going to Hollywood. And now we care what nobody say, Don't play Call of Kid. Call of Kid, bruh. Listen, kid. You really learned probably one of the biggest lessons in your life, bruh. And there's some shit that's gonna stick with you forever, bruh. I really hope you don't make the same mistake twice. You feel me? Every nigga got to go through that one shit. You know, what I think you went through and every other nigga need to learn from you is you never supposed to swap out the real for the fake, bro. You feel me, bro? A lot of niggas out here going to say they real niggas and this and that, but when it come down to it, bro, niggas not real, bro. You get put in the predicament with niggas, bro. Niggas is not real, bro. If you was to get into some shit right now and nigga needed some niggas to slide with you, bro, Niggas is not real, bruh. Feel me? I'm just gonna keep it 100. Niggas done told me, bruh. Call the kid, know he fucked up. And I was just like, hey, kid ain't gonna realize till after. And I was like, yeah, may time be. And literally, that's what time did. And yeah, bro, niggas just be telling me, like, you one of them niggas, kid. If Call the kid was to get beat up or some niggas was to be like, yo, kid, bro, some niggas robbed me. Nigga, first thing I'ma say, where them boys at? You feel me? Like, and Call the kid know that. I don't even gotta emphasize on that too much, but. Yeah, bro. You just kind of just kind of dead kid dirty, bro. You feel me? And I ain't really too much mad at Color Kid. You know that? Because Color Kid is one of them young niggas who just learning life, bro. Like I said, bro, I ain't grew up with Color Kid. I ain't grew up with them boys. I ain't go to school with them boys. I ain't run the streets with them boys. These are niggas I met along the way, bro. And the day I met this nigga, bro, embraced them. 
You feel me? We've been locked in ever since. It's like the day I met him, we damn near, it just clicked. Niggas just chilled every day. I done met his mama. I done been in his crib. I done met his grandma. I done met his brother. His mom done cooked for me. I used to come in the crib whenever I wanted to. He ain't even had to be there. That's the type of relationship it was. You feel me? Like, this shit wasn't even no internet shit, no none of that. This was just real locked in shit. So, the fact that, you know, that he just sat there and just let a nigga downplay me in front of his eyes, like, damn. Like, I'm just some random ass nigga or something. Like, you couldn't say something. Like, I ain't a real ass nigga, bro. You couldn't say something. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a backstab. But, like I said, bro, I don't think Call of Kid street knowledge or anything like that is really up to par. So, it's like, could I kind of give him some type of, like, pass? Like, damn, you do a nigga like that, bro. Like, think about it, bro. I done slept at your crib. Probably done left clothes at your crib. Probably had a toothbrush at your crib, bro. Then got your mom birthday gifts. Then came to your mom, mama birthday parties. When I first met y'all boys and started hanging around them boys, you feel me? Collar kid, little brother, you feel me? He was just like a little young collar kid, and it's like... He used to always say, like, man, kid, bro, like, shit, bro, like, I'm trying to get fly. Like, if you got any extra clothes, just, you feel me? And I used to really come with clothes, like, here, jet, get fly. You feel me? And I ain't even trying to brag or even, like, to throw what I like to do for people, but I'm just really showing y'all how deep underneath the surface this shit really was. You feel me? I done introduced my hoes to your mom, all that, bro. And for you to just let a nigga downplay me, bro. On a situation that you don't even know about, bro. You don't even know about, kid. You let a nigga downplay me and speak on a situation that you don't even know about. God, the kid don't know why I stopped talking to him, bro. Because I never got to the point to actually explain to him, yo, this was going on. I didn't even stop talking to Kyle the Kid because of him. I stopped talking to Kyle the Kid or just let me distance myself till I come holler at you, you feel me? Because somebody else. And now, time played itself and it's like, damn. Now you really put yourself in a position to get cut off. This shit is crazy. Kali Kid really learned the most important lesson of his life, bro. You never supposed to swap out real for the fake, bro. And, I mean, it, it's the main things niggas tell me, bro. Niggas be really telling me, like, man, kid, the fact that, you know, he even kind of felt that comfortable to even kind of, like, talk about it or just expose this shit because he brought it to the internet. You let the next nigga bring it to the internet when me and you didn't even bring it to the internet. Think about that. You let the next nigga bring it to the internet with me and you didn't even bring it to the internet, bruh. Then you trying to let the next nigga shit on me, bro. Crazy. Then when you peep how a motherfucker really move and you treat him accordingly, all of a sudden things go left. King Sid is one of them people that if you let them get away with some foul shit, they'll say some fouler shit in the next fucking sentence. I had to get more girls in me. Can you get more hoes in me? Can you get more hoes in me? Oh. I That's not even a you. question, I boy. You. About to do a video on that, bro? Whoa, we can do whatever. Whoa. We can Whoa. do whatever. Hey, let me tell something. Ooh. This nigga don't get more than me. Yeah, Who? Who? <laughs> right here? You stupid? You stupid? Right. <laughs> uh, how much jet? You retarded, bro. <laughs> Yo, you stupid, bro. Hey, get out of here. Zoom into the mob. Zoom, Zoom into the mob. Zoom into the mob. You think he could pull more girls in me? Who? Sit. Sit, no. Miami has never let him slide on this and has always corrected him as a man. And I personally think this would slowly build some animosity on King Sid's side. Fans have said for a while that King Sid has had animosity with Miami for some odd reason. Some fans are speculating it was because Miami did a video with King Sid's ex Diamond Flawless, but who knows. King Sid ends up pulling some snake shit with Miami and some of his homeboys who came out to show him love in a whole other city. And the only reason Miami even pulled up was to show support to a fellow Florida YouTuber, King Sid. It just goes to show what the type of person King Sid is and the difference between a dude like Sid and Miami. The glitch and glamour and cloud is cool, but I'll take a group of solid stand-up dudes over a group of five King Sids any day. And y'all saw the first clip in this video. What was it all about? When people are all kumbaya, what is the main thing that other, everybody's saying? Oh, this is Florida stuff. We're taking over. We, we, Florida. Now, when you get to another city and you got hoes in the crib, it's, well, I mean, there's girls here, bro. I don't, I don't want it to be beefed up. King Sid was cool at one point, bro. And from my understanding and knowledge, bro, 
I always show kid love. And where I think things went left, where I was like, damn, it's kind of weird was when we went to Houston. Sid told me to come out to his video shoot, bruh. The most viral video on his channel. That video, your most viral video is with me, in it. And who you think everybody was talking about in the comments? Me and Prime. Who ideal was it to bring Prime? You feel me? I came out there, keep in mind, bruh, everybody that came with me, bruh, we came out of pocket on our own expense. We really coming out there to show you love. You from the crib. This Florida love. I'm thinking, shit, we in a whole nother city. We on some Florida nigga shit. We gonna be together every single day. We gonna link like, man, it's vibes, man. We out there with y'all boys. And we came out there for you on everything, bruh. I don't even think I grabbed content for my channel, bruh, on that trip. I strictly came out there for you to show you love because you from Florida. We all supposed to be from Florida. We all supposed to be showing each other love, bruh. And it was one night that I think it was maybe our last day there. And I'm just like, shit, man. Let's go pull up on Sid and them boys, man. Let's go see what them boys on, bro. Let's go, let's go fuck with them boys at their BNB. Let's go vibe out with them and shit. And I was with Marble and Prime, bruh. True story. I can't even make this up. We about to pull up. So I be like, yeah, bro, we gonna drop the current. We gonna drop the current. I'm like, all right, shit, we finna come fuck with y'all boys. Come on, we ready. And the whole time, the current was stalling to come, bro. It was hoes there that wanted us to pull up. Literally, bro, I'm texting the hoes and I'm like, hey, shit. I'm trying to reach Swabe. Can one of y'all send the current? And nobody is sending the current. And I'm just like, what's taking so long for everybody to send the current? And literally, Suave called us. And I'm like, yo, Suave, bro, what the fuck going on, kid? Oh, man. Um, I'm trying to send y'all boys the current, but Sid said don't send it. I'm like, huh? I'm trying to send y'all boys the current, but Sid said don't send it because it's like, it's something going on right quick. Meanwhile, the girls keep asking if we pulling up. And I'm just like, shit, we trying to come pull up and fuck with y'all, but y'all not sending us the current. We in a whole other state. We all supposed to be Florida niggas, bro. Rolling together, vibing out together. We in a whole other state. Who the fuck you expect us to chill with? Kind of knowing we about to chill with each other because we don't know nobody from Houston. You feel me? I called Suave back and literally, bro, Suave was like, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I want to send y'all boys the current, but Sid said don't send it. I'm like, man, put Sid on the phone, bro. I talked to Sid. I'm like, man, what's good, bro? What's up? What you on? Oh, shit. We vibing at the BNB. Da, 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 da. I said, all right, shit. We've been waiting for the current. Y'all boys send the current. What's going on? Man, I ain't gonna lie, kid, bruh. Uh, it's even right now. I said, it's even? What you mean it's even? Oh, man, bro. It's even girls and even guys, bro. We not really trying to have too many niggas in this bitch. <laughs> True story, bruh. I cannot make this up, bruh. Marble and Prime was fucking heated, bruh. Them boys was hot when they heard that shit, bruh. And was like, bruh, that's some real hoe-ass shit. And it never really dawned on me to after that trip where I was just like, damn, we really came out here for this man to show him love, bruh. We ain't getting nothing out of that trip. We came there for you just to come be a part of what you got going on. That's like me having you and your dogs and you from my city. We all supposed to be on the same thing, showing each other love. We all on the same boat together, bro. And we in a whole nother city that I told you to come fly out and meet me out there. And now you trying to pull up on me because obviously you don't know nobody out there. Who the fuck else you going to be with? I invited you out here. You hit me up and you like, yo, bro, kid, shit, where you at? I'm finna pull up on you. I got girls and I got niggas in the spot. Still going to make y'all boys pull up, bro. Why? Because y'all boys my dogs. I'm going to leave y'all out here just, nah, you can't pull up on me, bro, because we don't got enough hoes for y'all boys, so we can't hang out tonight. No, nigga? Slide. Whatever girl in the building choose on you, that's just the girl you leave with. So after that, bro, I probably didn't tell him nothing. I probably didn't say anything, bro. I'm a real fall back king. Niggas will never have an explanation on why I stopped associating with them or anything. I just fall back, bro. That's a little backstory. That's how far I could think back. And then after that, Sid kind of went to go do his own thing. I went to go do my own thing. If y'all could recall, kid never got in drama, bro. I never got in drama, bro. I was always in Miami with my guys, and Sid, Gio, and Diamond was always in fucking Broward, bruh. And from last time I'm understanding, drama in Florida 
always came from their side. It's never no drama with kids. Drama always came from them. And we always said this whole saga, Miami avoided all of the people who would end up falling out with Sid. It's interesting because seeing that there was flaws in how they move. The flaw was that some people weren't 100% real and genuine 24-7 when nobody was watching. A lot of people in King Sid's corner are like crabs in a bucket and would turn on each other if the dollar sign is right. Miami isn't someone who didn't let the fame or clout change his morals, and if it did to his friends, he probably would fall back. This would then lead people like King Sid, seeing this as an opportunity to manipulate and make it seem like Miami didn't want people to shine, and that he's the real person who wants to see people grow. This little man is sick, whoa. He's a real sick man, whoa. He's manipulating little Haitians, whoa. So that, can the Haitians stop falling for the manipulation, whoa? To sum it up, when Miami met Sid, he was awkward with the hoes and was only growing on YouTube because he was close friends with the biggest people in the game at the time, like Gio and them. Fast forward to now and he's trying to take over the world on some Dr. Doofenshmirtz shit, backstabbing everyone he's come up with and basically pinning people against each other like Miami and Kala Kid and everybody else. All, all for his own personal game just to help himself. I've just been so tired of people not seeing the truth. Everybody is getting lost in the exposed videos and how wrong King Sid is that they cannot see that the victims got dirt on their own name as well. In the next couple of videos, we're going to analyze the flaws of the people in the group and how they are not innocent. Stay tuned for my next two uploads because they're going to be in this same format, breaking down what the casual viewers missed about the drama. Everybody's too focused on Sid. If you want to continue seeing content like this, please subscribe so I can stay in your algorithm and leave a like so you can stay up to date. Also, connect with me on all social media. All my social medias are in the YouTube description, so don't miss any one. Make sure y'all join my Discord, and uh, I'm trying to get to 4K on Instagram. So if y'all could all just please right now go to my Instagram and just drop a follow. Uh, if I get 10 followers, I'll be happy, but literally let me get to 4k. Um, and, uh, yeah, so like just follow my Instagram and have a blessed day y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching and we out.